Hello and welcome back to Carmston Farm. We pick up where we left off on the last episode and we were just about to start the corn harvesting contract in field 17. Everything else is back at the yard with the exception of the fast track and the mulchers. They are working their way around field 20 and 22, a soybean field. So that is on course play. So uh, that's going to get that done for us. So we're going to plod through this harvest. We have got rain in the forecast, but uh, I think it was about five o'clock. Let's just have a quick look. Five o'clock, wasn't it? Yeah, so 5 p.m. So hopefully we'll be well on with this by then. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do probably the majority of this field. Um, maybe you have to uh, stick it on a worker when uh, it needs unloading. But uh, yeah, that's my plan is to drive most of this field and get the harvesting done ourselves. So, yeah, let's uh, crack on with it. First unload underway. And uh, you can see that we haven't got far at all. Um, I thought I'd stop here. There's a reasonable clearing at the side of the field. And I think that that there, all sphere stores, is the delivery point for the contract. Let's have a quick look. Yes, it is. All sphere stores. So... We've only got to drive over there, so jobs are good in. Let's get the auger in and uh, carry on with the harvest. First wagon load of corn being delivered. It shouldn't take long to unload. I just need to remember how to switch between the different sections of the hopper trailer. Is that very right? There we go. Another one, that's the middle one. Super. We are going in order. Good job. Let's let that one drain out. There we go. Come on. And then on to the next one. And there we go. 26,000 litres going in. So we're 7% transported. So we'll let this empty and uh, we'll head back to the field. Well, it is absolutely tipping it down. So what we're going to do is get the combine unloaded and uh, we'll have to leave it here for today. Now, this is the first time that uh, I've been on the game since the update, so it will be a bit jittery. Hopefully it will sort itself out. Let's get that emptied into there. We can then get the cover on it and fold up the combine. So let's get that done. Just folding the combine up and then we can turn the lights off. Power down for the evening. So let's have a look how much we've done. So we've done a fair bit. So trying to square the field off, it is a very strange shape. We are 50% through, so very uh, good place to stop. You'll notice the contract for field 7 is gone. I did do that off screen, just uh, give myself something to do and to actually play the game for a bit. So I think we're going to rest and uh, I'll see you in November. So just after eight o'clock november the first or first day of november however you want to look at it and uh hopefully we can just hire a worker on that now brilliant so that will chug away in the background because i forgot to do the uh, monthly selling of our products so we're going to go and get that done now so uh, i'll grab the truck and trailer and I'll see you in a minute. Just backing up to, there we go, our uh, cheese and butter. Oh, 
There's always one, isn't there? There's always one. And there we go. Let's uh, just help that on its way. There we go. Now, I've just had a look at the prices of things. And uh, we need to sell. Oh, the workers full. Oh, never mind. We need to sell our canola oil, I think it was. Let's just have a quick look. Yes, canola oil. So that's peaking in November. So what price have we got? 3374. <laughs> Brilliant. At the garden centre. So we'll get that loaded up. And uh, then we will get it everything sold. Need to go and grab the eggs as well. And probably the honey. But uh, we'll do this lot first, I think. Right then. So with 3,000 litres of butter. 2,000 litres of cheese and 9,000 litres of canola oil. Let's see how much cash we can make. 41, about 46,000. Happy with that. So let's go and grab the eggs and the honey. So with everything loaded up, we are going to be heading to the farmer's market because the price is best for both of the eggs and the honey down there so we'll head there in a minute I am tempted to uh, get rid of this chicken pasture area holding um, there's not many animals in here in fact I can't actually remember how many it holds let's see if we can find the trigger I might need to put the icon on somewhere here I believe there we go so it only holds a hundred and uh, doesn't seem to produce many eggs. So I might have a play and see if we can sell and delete that bit and then maybe put uh, one of the other ones we've got in just off the main yard, I think. Um, so yeah, I'll have a look at that in a bit. We need to head to the farmer's market, but I think first we might just jump across and unload the worker in the cornfield. I think that's going to be the most productive plan. So let's head over there now. Don't think we're going to get that combine load in this trailer. No. Okay, well that'll go off for a second. That'll carry on, should I say. Not sure for how long. Um, so we need to go and tip this and uh, come back and just finish unloading the combine right then down at the farmers market let's get the straps off just let everything sell the eggs may take some time I think what we're going to do is leave the trailer here as uh, our bulk trailer is in the field 17 behind us go last little bit of eggs another we'll call that 21k i think super so we'll get the curtain closed and uh, we'll park this over here out the way and we can detach it and uh, hop across into the field 17 there and uh, hook back up to our other trailer oh hello collision and uh, carry on with the harvest just riding along in the harvester now with the worker and uh, let's have a look at our percentage through so we are 63 percent through now we've got 137,000 liters to deliver which is cool okay we're going to make about 11 and a half k on top of uh, the 34,000 minus the leasing fees of the equipment so another tidy profit we're not going to bother with weeding because uh, a lot of effort for very little reward so hopefully we've got enough capacity to turn around we can then jump into the uh, Mack truck and uh, get the combine unloaded so with the combine all unloaded we can now uh, drop this onto a bit of a montage I reckon and uh, push through on 
with the harvesting of the field and uh, yeah, we'll catch up in a little minute. Just up at the new cow barn now, and uh, while the uh, worker is plodding through the field, I thought we may as well do a uh, total mix ration feed for the cows. So we will grab ourselves some hay, straw, and silage and get them fed. So with the hay and the straw in, we can now hay and straw, hay and silage in, sorry. We can now top it off with straw. There we go. Drag that out the way and lower it down. And then jump into the Fiat, which actually looks tiny on this mixer. And uh, see how it goes with uh, unloading it. That's or listen to that sound, sorry. How good is that? There we go. Loving that mod. <laughs> it is brilliant. Proper old school sound that is. So just uh, taking a break from unloading the combine for a minute. Seems to need it uh, every five minutes or so. But um yeah, just retrieving the fast track from field 20 and 22 where it's done the mulching for us. And uh, I was looking at the weed map, um, but what we've got growing. So we've got, let's have a quick look. So we've got wheat, we've got barley, we've got canola. So two was going to be soybeans. I think... We're going to put sunflowers and, yeah, sunflowers in 20 and 22. And then we're going to put linseed in six, I think, if that works with. Yeah, we can plant linseed in March. Sunflowers is March and soybeans is April. Okay, good. Brilliant. So that works for us. So let's get this back to the yard. It needs a serious repair and refuel so we'll get that done and then no doubt it'll be time to uh, there you go unload the uh, combine again so refueled the fast track and now we're going to get both the mulchers repaired so repair yep 81 pounds break the bank 15.7 that's a little bit more uh, pricey but that's that done so uh, that can actually probably stay there for now. Let's um, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go and have a quick look at the grass fields and see how they're looking. That's one thing I do like about uh, the uh, growth stage of the grass is that it doesn't look, say, like a ploughed field, but <laughs> doesn't look like a ploughed field for long. You get the uh, the growth back really quickly, so that's all good. Let's just have a hop out and over the fence. Perfect pH, perfect nitrogen. Lovely. And uh, expected yield, 89%. But if I remember rightly, this is the silty clay side. So let's see if it changes. Yeah, silty clay is what it says it. Let's have a look down here. 
on the loam, 125%. Very good. Happy with that. How much wool have we got? Blimey, another three full pallets. It's uh, There's a fair old amount of cash there. Wicked. Right, let's um, head back to the harvester and uh, see how that's getting on. So it's just popped up that we are 80% complete on the contract, which is good. Unloading on the go. And uh, I reckon we've probably got uh, this trailer full. Once this trailer's full, probably another half a trailer maybe, maybe a bit more, until we've delivered everything we need to. Don't think I'm going to keep any more. We might just uh, might just sell it and uh, get the cash in, help to cover the uh, JCB repair costs. So we will take the trailer very slowly. It's getting heavy. Back up to this end of the field, so it's uh, ready when we need to unload the harvester again. Well, we're ninety-five percent full, so we may as well deliver this lot and see how close that's going to get us to being complete on the contract so 60,000 litres let's have a look should leave us 20 something to, to deliver let's have a look 32,000 so yeah just about uh, half a trailer full so we'll keep going and we'll catch back in a short while so I'm trying to catch the worker to unload him off the right side of uh, the crop so we don't have to drive through it so it does mean unloading slightly more regularly than I probably normally would but uh, it's no real problem so I was getting all excited at the start of the week Attican Park was on the testing list oh might not be long then yesterday I think the update came out uh, for the testing list that is and it wasn't there you think mm. maybe it's going to release mods dropped late quite late actually yesterday and it wasn't there I was like no so I'm guessing it hasn't uh, hasn't passed this time uh, so yeah, I'll have to hold my excitement. I am still very much looking forward to that map and starting something new. Not uh, not bored of Carmston, but it would be nice to have something uh, a bit different to to uh, get our teeth into. So yeah, as soon as that does finally drop, I will be getting things set up on there. Got a few ideas, so. Yeah, we'll just have to uh, wait and see. Just unloaded the combine and we've taken over. You can tell I've taken over because I've just missed a bit. <laughs> oh dear. So this last pass and then everything is uh, harvested and then we can deliver the final amount and uh, complete on the contract now it's worth saying actually that we are running 1.7 the patch 1.7 i've still got the uh, beta version of better contracts installed just because we we're midway through and i really didn't want it to uh, mess things up so once we've done um, maybe this episode and maybe the next, depending on what happens with contracts, I'll uh, switch back to the Mod Hub version and hopefully the uh, contracts are fixed. I think that it was in the patch notes that it was, so yeah, we will see. But yeah, still running it beta version for us at the minute. So we'll get this last bit of the corn here go spin round go and get that one bit that I missed up there might as well stick the auger out now 
uh, get the combine unloaded and uh, go and deliver to the All Spheres, st All Spheres store. Right then, so we've only got 30 something thousand litres to deliver to complete the contract. So let's get that in. And we'll see how there we go. Contract finished. And we will make 12,000, say, we'll say 14,000 on that, which is rather good. So now we can complete or collect on that so 28,649 lovely I don't get why the numbers are different so that was 28,649 and we got 28,113 very strange right so we can now it's a shame this hasn't got a, a hitch for a dolly on the back we can uh, get our trailers back up to the makeshift lorry park and uh, I think we'll sell some milk we'll fill up the mini BGA with manure and some slurry and then we'll probably call it a day so just up at the new cow barn I've uh, sent the lorry and trailer down to the old one so we can fill up with manure from there I was just thinking to myself, I seem to be having to feed these cows a lot. And if we go into the animals menu, I hadn't noticed we've had another 100, so we've got 100 calves now. Must have had these ones two months ago, funnily enough. And these ones here, the 70, are uh, our new ones. So we've got 200 in that one and 150 in this one. Yeah, so 350 head of cattle. Not bad, but yeah, that's why their uh, food's going down a fair bit more. So let's get this round to the manure pit. I have to show you this. <laughs> Don't think that's quite going to work. Um, poor little tractor. Right, um, we'll let that uh, lower itself back down. We will move this out of the way. Oh, sorry cow. There we go. And uh, we'll go and grab a uh, slightly bigger tractor, I think. Right, got the slightly bigger fent. <laughs> that poor fear. First uh, couple of jobs and we've already made it wheelie. So there we go. Let's get that all tipped in there. And we can reactivate that there we go oh, I'll tell you what I have been doing I've been selling the charge oh that is really annoying there we go we'll store that for now come on got to have plenty of space there we go don't get why it's uh it's being so fussy let's just try and change the angle slightly there we go can't be pushing back on anything i don't think that's better <laughs> that's better he says but uh, still okay weird i don't understand that we've got mini biogas plant manure activated we've only got twenty-eight thousand liters okay whatever we'll uh persevere so this is our second load of slurry and you'll see that the truck and trailer has arrived with a load of manure so we can get that tipped in there in a moment let's let this unload first and we can send the truck back down to get the tanker with uh, a load of milk uh, we'll top up both dairies and sell the excess and we'll probably empty the new cow barn of milk as well. Just we'll up at the farm dairy now. Topping this one up. There we go. Needed a fair bit. Let's go and do the other one and then we can sell this load. I have checked and luckily for us the garden centre is paying the best price 
so I do like it to uh, hope it works out like that. I've got far to uh, travel, so we'll get spun round and uh, get this into the trigger. There we go. Try not to jackknife it. And I'm probably a bit far over. Yeah. Never mind. Make sure we get it this time, that's for sure. There we go. Top that one up as well. How much are we going to have left? 19,387. Okay. So we can sell this load and we'll go and fill up from the new cow barn. Last couple of thousand litres. And we got 27k for that lot. So now to refill and uh, sell the remaining milk that we've got at the uh, new cow barn. There we've got another 21,250 litres to sell. So let's get that unloaded into the dairy. Dairy? <laughs> Garden centre. Hopefully we'll tip over 500k. But... Uh, yeah, I think we will. Yeah, get in. 500k. So, what did we get for that? 26, 29, nearly 30k for that load. Pretty good indeed. So, I think uh, that's probably where we're going to leave it for this episode. I, uh, I'm going to have a mess around with the chicken enclosure off camera just in case it goes horribly wrong. But uh, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Take care.